So it seems to appear that many people have mixed opinions about shocking websites. Some are curious and they will enjoy it for what they are and others will just straight up label you as some freaking stereotype. What's up everybody, I'm Amarx and today I'm going to discuss the reasons why people hate shocking websites. Now I've seen a lot of examples where people be like, oh you, mu you watch this type of stuff, oh you talk about this, oh you must be some type of psychopath. But in reality most people are just talking about it just because it's just interesting information that people would present on the internet. But what's also very different is also that a small minority of these people does take these type of content and then they use it for a motive for something that they shouldn't be using it for. But it's just a very small minority, thank God. The majority of the time, these websites are mainly meant to, you know, give people a reaction of some sort. Like everybody in general and just every human being in nature will always react something a little bit more unique or similar, but for the most part, everyone reacts to this stuff a bit differently. Another thing I've seen all the time on my shocking videos websites is in the comment section is why even watch it? And honestly, it's actually not a terrible question, but in reality is I get accused of being some like super diehard gore watcher or some crazy dude, like I said. But in reality though, I just wanna present out the information because I find it interesting, unique, and somewhere that I found a niche where people could, you know, explore and be curious about stuff like this. Think of it similar like as a documentary about serial killers or like true crime type genre. Stuff. It's like a version of that, but it's like an uncensored version. And what's kind of cool is that people who don't want to watch this stuff, they can just go on a video, they have someone talk about it, and they explain it. Of course, they can't show it on YouTube because of freaking guidelines and rules and stuff. And then that's cool is that <laughs> that they can just hear the information what happened, so they don't have to like risk getting exposed to this type of stuff because all in all, it is very interesting to at least hear about because like I said, all us human beings are just naturally curious. And there thing that people do which is kind of funny is they'll take these type of videos and use it as a bait or switch prank or whatever just to kind of mess with people especially with their friends or families because all oh, in reality we're not actually laughing at what's in the content of those videos it's more of the people's reactions like i said because some people's reactions are just generally hilarious Another argument you could really say to kind of argue back is why do a lot of people like watching horror movies involving serial killers of people getting killed? Also, why do they pot watch torture porn genres like, you know, uh, Saul, Hostel? Like, man, like, isn't that pretty much pretty similar, but it's just all acting with just effects and stuff? Like, are, they, are those guys psychopaths or enjoying that type of genre? like no yes this is more real stuff but like i said it's not all about the you know the the actual killings of these videos they're actually just about the the, the, the pretty much the reality of all the situations behind it and in human nature guys that i guess a lot of people will want to find very interesting ways to get killed whether it's either a real video or a saw movie trap or whatever <music> People are just are just curious about stuff like that, like that. Like fuck, there was a TV show about a thousand ways to die, and even a freaking kids cartoon about happy tree friends, dude. Not gonna lie, bro, that show was funny. Like shit, dark humor is definitely my thing. So I thought it was kind of funny because it's just a bunch of cute little cuddly cartoons getting murdered. It's just something different and something refreshing to see. What?
also could lead to these type of videos of people watching them as well is that unfortunately with the, today's media mainstream news and stuff that there's a lot of edited sources and manipulation of words of people manipulating the facts around and stuff so no one really knows what is factual and not factual anymore it makes it a lot harder so people want to find out for themselves by watching these videos yes they're going through a freaking they have the courage to freaking pro psychologically probably damage themselves a little bit because i'm not gonna lie it can be very damaging if you watched a lot but yeah that's another reason why i make a video on these but yeah it's freaking yeah it's insane that this type of world we live in dude is just so freaking censored and stuff for the most part it sucks man because not everyone wants to see, wants to see like a certain opinion of their own dude they want to go what the mainstream media feeds them and it fucking sucks and And to keep in mind guys, another thing I have noticed when making these type of videos, not even intentionally to promote stuff like this, it was just for factual interesting information of what happened with these websites is... That I got a bunch of small minority trolls that are anti-gore and whatever, it's like, I'm not, like I said, I'm just getting out some information about what happened and they literally would start DDoSing attacking my social media posts my social media in general and also my discord server and they actually raided and ruined my discord server unfortunately because I didn't secure it well enough or anything because I was kind of an amateur at discord when I created it that uh yeah they kind of raided the shit out of it leaking private information and stuff and they wanted it for some reason they wanted just a DDoS and try to like ruin my I guess my internet career or whatever, but I'm just like, bro, like, I think it's a bit extreme and a little bit childish to go that far just over someone who's just talking a bunch of freaking morbid curiosity websites and just where they went. Another thing too, I like to say is that if I were some like mentally unstable human being and stuff talking about this stuff and promoting this stuff why would I just talk about what happened and like what's going on in these videos that to prevent people from watching it other than uh people you know like showing this killings on YouTube you know trying to risk their YouTube career or whatever if they have one or just their channels in general it's like no nah, I'm not here to show and like scare everybody and show like how edgy I am I'm just here to <laughs> Just talk about something that's a bit different and refreshing on the platform that not a huge minority of people or huge people yet have yet discovered. If anything, guys, if I was just talking about morbid curiosity, I'd rather be talking about and giving like some information about it than you know just acting on it because yeah, dude, because no one wants to act on that type of stuff unless someone was an unstable person. And And for the most part, for these people who do discover this type of crap or whatever, that like uh, they do tend to re research on it because it gets spread around from some information right on the internet. Because in reality, people don't just you just randomly find this stuff out of nowhere. Someone actually uploads this stuff, and yes, I do agree that it is a bit disrespectful to kind of upload this type of shit, but. Like I said, dude, this is the internet, guys, unfortunately. So there's always those one asshole that always uploads stuff no matter what. So instead of, you know, instead of, you know, spreading it around and showing them the video and stuff, just talking about stuff like this isn't as so bad as you, some fucking jackass just, you know, coming around and, oh, let me just shove this in your face on TikTok or Twitter or whatever. Just whatever platform you come across because, like I said, if someone wants to look it up, all, that's all on them completely but yeah I do feel for those though who do get who discover it like I did on Facebook or TikTok or anything at a young age when they're not even looking for that type of stuff because yeah it is kind of messed up in that context <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, it is also a consequence when someone decides to record something so bizarre and shit on the internet that someone is bound to either take the video or upload it, or the guy uploading them themselves the private forums and then hackers get into it and they just leak the shit, guys. It's been going on for about 20 plus years on the internet, and this is just a harsh reality we live in with the internet as well. The best way in general to avoid stuff like this on the internet for those people who do not want to see this stuff at all is that just this, I guess the guys just don't give them a fucking camera, all right? Just don't let them record it in the first place and all this shit would like go out the window. Anyways, everybody, that was concludes for today's video. Sorry, guys. For